Hello, I'm Luca De Rio, and I want to show you how the photometric light works with a Maxwell Render. So, we have two main ways to proceed with a Maxwell Render. We can work inside a 3D package like 3ds Max, uh, um, Maya, or another software, and we can benefit of the light created from Maxwell. In this situation, I need to create a light that is IES light. And I just need to define the light position somewhere in the space. Load an external IES file. So the light will be emitted with this shape. Now, what is IES light before proceeding? IES light are photometric files that uh, represent the model on how the light behaves inside the space. So in the reality, in real life, we have a light emitter, um, a fixture that has a proper shape inside. And according to this shape, the light is bouncing and spreading inside the environment. With a photometric light, we can simulate this light bouncing and this kind of light modeling inside the space. And also here as well we have two ways we can proceed downloading a photometric IES file from manufacturer or we can use a, a software to generate them. The software can be found here on www.realis.com and is a software used to generate the IES photometric file. To be clear, they are this uh, light with this uh, series of cone. You see here in the banner on the top, we have this uh, series of cone. It's like how the light is emitted according to the angle where, where the fixture is spreading this light. So here we have some description and we can download for Mac or PC the software. I already did and I have the software on my desktop. It's here. And when I start this uh, Real IS software, I can create file using this slider, defining the intensity per angle. So this is the shape of the IS, of the photometric light. I have an advanced mode that offers me possibility to define with candelas, lux, lumen, but, and to define the efficacy. So changing here the parameter, I can affect what is happening here. For example, I have 1,000 candela, I have, um, sorry, 4,600 candela for 1,000 lumen. If I would use, uh, for example, 5,000 lumen, I would have this amount of candelas and this amount of lux, so luminous uh, uh, intensity at a certain distance calculated by here. So if I have one meter, I would have this huge amount of lux. If I have, uh, you know, 10 meter, I would have one tenth of lux. And I have the power, so I can have 150 watts, and it will affect the efficacy of this light. Of course, I can have realistic or theoretical values. The theoretical are huge uh, compared to the realistic, and they are difficult to be managed. It's better to use the realistic for um, for um, for real uh, for uh, previsualization and 3D renders. If you are doing mathematical calculation, real IS can also work for you in the theoretical mode. So where you have these mathematical values. When you are satisfied, you can press uh, save file here and the file will be exported. Now let me rename this one because it's the one that I want to use for the exer exercise that I'm doing. But I can press here and uh, boom, the new file is prepared here. You can see here in the preview that if I'm going to change angles, as you can may expect here, also the preview is changing as well. So if I use a 60 degrees, this preview is displaying the 60 degrees. I can show you better the preview just putting it inside one folder because I can't magnify the dimension of the, of the icon. So you see, this is the dimension of 60 degrees with a certain distance and it is created by real IS. 
Now, I already prepared before starting this, um, this recording an uh, IS photometric file that I would like to use. Here's this one. And talking with 3ds Max, I applied it here. Now, I don't want to use the 3ds Max. I want to show you Maxwell Render inside Maxwell Studio. So I'm going to close, close 3ds Max and I open my Maxwell Studio. Inside Maxwell Studio, I already imported the scene with all the objects and I'm quite low uh, according to the grid, but it's not a problem because everything is aligned and created here inside. So I have a camera in the space and the camera has a certain parameter like position, rotation, we have the focal length defined with a millimeter, I have a shutter speed, f-stop, um, exposure uh, number, I have a sensor, actually here I'm using a Canon DSLR Air, um, here I have a resolution. I'm using low resolution because I want to speed up the rendering here. I can have Maxwell response or specific film response. And uh, this is what is happening inside my camera. For environment, I don't have any light because the light are artificial and I created here as object. Uh, the light inside the Maxwell render when you use the studio, they should be 3D objects. So I have two planes and they are uh, here and here, so one on the left and one on the right. There are two planes emitting light to the center of the scene and these two planes, they have a material that is a light emitter material type area with a certain intensity, 700 watt uh, with uh, this uh, efficacy that I'm using. For the IS light, that is the core of our topic, I have an emitter that is IS and here I'm loading the IS file that I created with real IS. So I can open it. I'm defining the color. Here I'm lower than 6500 Kelvin. I'm using 6000 to have a pinkish color, while uh, the emitters, they are more than 6500 Kelvin. So you see they will be a little bit bluish and they will cool down the result. And, uh, well, I can show you how it will look without the lights. So using Maxwell, I can activate the Maxwell Fire here. I can have a preview, a real-time preview. Uh, well, it's not actually a really real-time preview. It's a software render, but it's very fast. And this is my IS light. So if I want it wider or more narrow here in the center, I can open real IS, define a new IS light, and start the render again. It's very important when you create this IS that you consider the rotation of this sphere. This sphere is the sphere, the IS light, that is uh, emitting light using the IS file and this material, and it has a certain rotation. It's very important that you consider this rotation for the emitting direction. If you rotate or if you need to do something, you can use here the parameter of the sphere. Now, the intensity is defined by the material, so if here in the real I, in the IS I'm using 500, for example, five times more, the light is brighter, but it doesn't affect the cone because the cone must be changed inside real IS, the external software. So, um, well, let, let's try it. Let me turn off here the Maxwell Fire, and let me create. So I was doing here with a backup, So I can have something like this, and I was working at 10,000. So it will affect the amount of candela, and I can save my file that will be here. And now, what I like of uh, Real IS is that all the files are exported inside the same location, so I can substitute them really quickly. You see, this is the new light cone, it's the wider light cone. I changed absolutely nothing here inside. I just changed my values here inside. So it's quite nice software. I can close here, save my file, move back inside Maxwell, press fire, and you see now I have this spotlight. So I can even try to save the file while Maxwell is rendering. Now here needed to get started, and this is the new light. So back to the original project. I can trash this one, save my IS light, 
it will be loaded inside Maxwell. I just want to show you the other light emitter that I created here, just to have the, the, the cooldown here. So you see, the scene is cooler because it's colder, sorry, <laughs> because I have this blue light uh, and also I can take the light from the left, for example, that is this one. And I can increase the intensity to 1000, for instance. Now you will see here more light. And my ES light is here as well. Remember that when you are satisfied in Maxwell Render, you don't need to wait this Maxwell Fire to complete your render, but you can start the real render, the one that used the camera resolution defined here. So let me increase a little bit. I press here and the real render will start. And we, this will unleash the, all the power of Maxwell Render rendering engine.